Photoshop could now remove anything from a picture in a couple clicks using AI and it's called Generative Fill AI. Let me show you how to use it. And I'll show you here with this picture. I'm gonna remove the laptop and look how nicely it fills in behind her. I'm gonna remove the bookshelf in the background. Look at that. This is the bookshelf, no bookshelf. And this is just a couple clicks. This took me just a few seconds. And I'm also gonna add something right here, calendar, using text. You could describe what you wanna see with text and it'll make it appear. Let me show you how it all works. First, you need the latest version of Photoshop. As I'm recording this, this is in beta, but it's still available to anyone using the Photoshop beta app. I'll show you how to get it. But if you click the link in the description, it will bring you to this website where you can get the Photoshop beta version. If you're watching this later, this is gonna be called Photoshop 2024 and all the versions after that should have this option too. And if you don't have Photoshop, you will get the Adobe Creative Cloud app. If you go to the app section here, there is a section here for beta apps and you could download Photoshop beta from here and then open it from this link. So now I have Photoshop open. I have this image here and I got this image from another platform called Envato Elements. If you haven't used Envato Elements before, it's basically a library of creative content that you could license. So I use this for all my photos, all the stock photos. They have millions of photos, for example, that you could license, stock videos, music, basically anything I use in my videos, I get from Envato Elements. So I'll go ahead and link this below as well. And all you have to do is with this image, if I decide to move this laptop, all I have to do is use the selection tool. So right over here, the quick selection tool, and I could select this laptop. I'm just gonna quickly select it right over here. And if anything that is not selected, I could press or hold option or alt and deselect it. So I'll go ahead and just deselect some of this table that I don't want to select. And here the laptop is selected. Now, I did not do a good job at all. I just did this in a few seconds by just clicking and selecting this. You don't have to do a good job with this for the selection. That's the power of AI here. Then right here, I have this option called Generative Fill. Now, if you don't have this, you're not using the right Photoshop, so make sure you download the right one. But all I have to do is click this and leave this empty. This will help me describe what happens in my picture, but I'll show you that in a second. Right now, to remove things, you just leave it empty. Press generate and look what happens. And this just took five seconds. Look at the before and look at the after. How crazy is that? And it put a piece of paper here because maybe there were some shadows it's trying to hide and it did that automatically. I did not have to type in any text. And there is a advanced option I'm gonna show you here. As I'm pressing, this eyeball here, it basically creates this other layer. So it's a non-destructive edit to your original picture. You could always go back to the original, just clicking this and then redo the whole thing. And it gives you variations here. So if you look over here, it gave me a couple of different variations if I turn it on. So I had this one, for example, this one, this one actually, it just made a smaller laptop, but in the other two, it removed it. And I made some other versions as well. So this is the one I liked and you could just press generate here on the prompt and then you'll get three versions every time you do this. But you could select the mask over here. You see this option right here where the mask is selected and it says subtract or add to the mask. So if I want to subtract from the mask, I could select this. It's gonna give me the brush tool and I could paint. You see I'm painting really subtle over here. Let me undo that. Because when I undo this, you see there is some areas here that if for some reason took off. So I could basically just subtract that away from the mask. And now if I do the before and after, all this area is fixed. So you could always do small tweaks if you're not getting the result that you want or try to regenerate again. But this subtract from the mask or add to the mask is a really good tool. Now, let me select my background layer one more time. This time I'm gonna click and drag on the bookshelf. Let's say I wanna replace this whole bookshelf. I'll click and drag here and I'll show you one more advanced tool that could come in handy. Sometimes you could modify this by expanding the selections border. So if you go to the help section and just type in expand, you'll see this option, modify and expand. And you can modify this, just expand it by like 30 pixels, for example. You can see it's expanded a little bit away to give the AI some more sampling data here. I'm gonna just press option and deselect anything that is selected on her. I don't want that, just this area right here. And again, I'm gonna press generative fill and generate. I'll leave it blank again and let it decide what should go there. And look at this, it's gonna create a new layer for me. And look at that, the very first choice I got here, it did a really nice job expanding this window and it even created some realistic reflection from the outside. And even if I zoom in, it's really incredible how it's filled in this section here. It's really hard 
to tell any kind of imperfection. On my very first try, as usual, you get three versions. You could generate again. I'll show you one last thing. This time I'm gonna add, instead of removing anything, but I could keep removing if I wanna remove this book or this paper and put in something else or let it decide for me with an empty box. But I could click the background layer one more time. This time, I'm just gonna use my marquee tool, the rectangle marquee tool. I'll draw a box right over here and I'll generate, this time I'm gonna generate a calendar because this just looks empty. So let's see if I generate a calendar, what happens on that whiteboard. And look at this option right here. I got three variations of a calendar. This one is really nice and subtle. You even put it out of focus, understanding the depth of field of this image and knowing what should be out of focus based on the background being out of focus. How great is that to basically remove anything I want and even add using text prompts of what I want added to the picture. That's all with the new generative fill AI from Photoshop. We're also putting together an entire Netflix style learning platform to learn AI with entire tutorial section, courses, latest in AI, everything you need to know to completely master AI, both in the world of creativity with a lot of complete courses on Photoshop and Mid Journey coming out, as well as entire productivity tutorials, entire courses on things like ChatGPT. So make sure you check out the link in the description. I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you next time.